Hi, great to be with you once again. It's our Wednesday morning devotion. For many of us, we are now back inside our churches, worshipping together. Worship. It's powerful. It's life changing. How did Job survive? Hell on earth. Well, he fell to the ground and worshipped. If you want to make it through those tough times, you have to give God a sacrifice of praise. Now, I know that sounds much easier to say than to do, but there's no other way. And the hardest praise is often the highest praise. That's how Job survived the dark night of his soul. That's how David survived in the wilderness. That's how Paul and Silas survived and got out of prison because they worshipped and gave God the praise. I read this the other day. Don't let what's wrong with you keep you from worshipping what is right with God. Don't let that voice of condemnation keep you from worshipping God. If your worship is based on your performance, you're not really worshipping God. Worship is not based on what you do. Its focus must be on who God is. The only way to drown that pain is to sing and worship and own it. Give God the praise. There's a song by Daryl Evans. It's called Trading My Sorrows. In it are these words. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. If you worship him only when you feel like it, you'll do it less and less. If you learn to praise him in the toughest of times, the best is yet to come. And don't forget, we are his joy. We are his people. We are his children. Give him praise. Whatever you do, don't turn your praise into pain. Don't internalize that pain. It'll only get worse. A little offense can turn into a ton of bitterness over time. And before you know it, that's all you know. And you're in a world of hurt, you're in a world of pain. And you've shifted your focus off God. The enemy of your soul wants to keep you and hold you back from God, from others. The best way to deal with pain is to verbalize it to the Lord. Sing, worship. Praise Him. Crank up that music. If your life is off key, maybe it's because you've been defeated by those negative voices. Let God's Word in. Let His song fill your mouth. Don't listen to the negative voices. Worship Him. 
Praise Him. Rejoice and sing. Believe what you are singing. Believe what you are praising. Believe what you are worshipping. Psalm 100. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. As we stand in God's presence, in our churches, in our lounge rooms, maybe as we drive in our car, give Him praise, open your mouth, sing and worship the Lord. Sing praises to Him. Get excited. It should be obvious. Put a smile on your face. And a song in your mouth. If you believe it, sing it, proclaim it, declare it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Give him praise. Give him honour. Give him glory. Give him your worship today. It's been great to take a few moments and chat with you. I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Give him praise.